Hey guys, welcome out to the shop. It's been a little while since uh, I posted any kind of video whatsoever. Oh, this you crazy mother. I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes kind of stuff, straightening up the shop, organizing things, uh, picking up different tools, refinishing them and picking up new ones that I don't have to refinish. Real quick, we're going to go over some of the new old tools that I have gotten recently over the past couple weeks. We've got right here on top, that's an old Simmons saw accompanied by three distant hand saws and a Craftsman back saw. The Craftsman one needs a good sharpening and it'll be ready to go. This one needs a touch up on the handle. The other ones need some cleanup on the blades get a sharpening and they're ready to go. I've got this distant over here that I went ahead and refinished real quick. The blade wasn't really in that bad of shape. I sharpened it up and it works fantastic. I also picked up these two Stanley hand planes. I've yet to date them but they're in really good condition. Just a little bit rusty. Everything is there. All parts. This one's got a small chip in the handle and it's a little bit loose but I mean, that's no big deal. The life on the iron is great. There's plenty left. So sometimes I can't always pick up old tools for things I need. And one thing I've been really wanting is an outside caliper for when I do some lathe work. Well, I ended up swinging by Harbor Freight recently and found this whole entire little set of measuring tools. It's got inside ones, outside calipers, just it's got rulers everything it, it was only ten dollars you can't really beat that i've looked at some of the outside calipers on like ebay and they're just crazy expensive especially the ones that are like hand forged i've done a lot of cleaning up in here as you can see in this corner now i've got my scroll saw and my bandsaw over here I've never had anything over in this corner. I've always had a bin with uh, just wood in there. The other day I went through it and it wasn't really a scrap wood bin. It was more or less a junk wood bin. So I pulled that out, got that out of the way, able to put some tools in here. This corner over here is becoming more of a hand tool only section. And over here on this side of the wall, I want to go ahead and build another bench or maybe put another workbench over on this one and be able to do multiple projects if I need to on both of these benches over here. Another recent project that I just finished up and you may have seen online is this dovetail box to hold my saw files. Now I made it dovetailed to hold the saw files because I haven't cut dovetails in a while. And you can really tell there's like a little gap right in here, some right there. So these aren't perfect. This is not worthy of going inside the house for any kind of furniture. So that's why this became a saw file box. But I've already got a couple files just sitting in there. I'm actually going to make a handle or a couple of them to put on the ends of those. And I've also seen people put a block on the end of a file to help with angles when they're sharpening crosscut saws. One project that I started recently that I haven't really continued on was my extension cord holder right here. And it works great, I like it. I need to go ahead and finish it. I want to actually have it mounted over here inside the studs to hold all of my extension cords. And I like it because I can actually take this and I want to have a bar that this is going to hang on. I can actually take this away with me. And then when I'm done, I just hang it back up. Made out of plywood, 12 bucks. I could make probably, I think, six or eight different holders off of one two foot by four foot sheet of plywood. Okay, so now we're here today. We're present. Everybody's caught up. Everybody's seen the shop and how much more organized, less cluttered it is. I think I've done pretty good with cleaning it up. I got the table saw out of here. I don't know if you guys know that. The table saw is now gone, completely out of here. Everything I'm doing is by hand saw, 
or by the orange beast over here, the bandsaw. The only reason why I'm really keeping that is just to mainly resaw stuff or just to play around if I have big curves. I want to get a turning saw so I can start doing big curves with a turning saw. But for right now, that is going to do. 